Hey guys, Hair by Jess here, and I'm bringing to you guys two sleighs today. A makeup sleigh and a hair sleigh. So, um, I got to thinking today, um, actually the last couple of days, um, that I wanted to play in some makeup again. So, um, I wanted to put together a, um, dark royal blue purple combination with a hint of, um, gold. Um, and, um, so I did a full face. And I started with a bare face as well. Um, so most of this video will be voice over and you guys are already seeing the sleigh. Uh, before I go ahead and uh, show you guys where I start at ground zero, make sure to smash the like button. Smash it up in the comments. Leave me a comment. Say hello. I read the comments. <laughs> Um, also subscribe, share it with all your friends. Um, I am saying, I am telling you right now that I will sincerely appreciate that. I'm telling you that right now before you even watch me. I will sincerely appreciate it and I appreciate it in advance. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started and I will see you later. So, bare face and all, I am starting here, uh, not on my eyebrows like I usually do. I started with um, prepping my eyelids. I think I was more excited about how this look was gonna come out, so I decided to start my eyelids and um, prep for the eyeshadow and the uh, eye makeup look first. Um, but as you can see, um, my natural eyebrow hair is on that little struggle. Um, that is due to uh, me going a little overboard with um, my tweezers, but um, you do my eyebrows next in a few shall make up for that <laughs> So what you guys just saw me do while I was prepping for the eyeshadow first I use a white eyeliner pencil to um, Act as my eyeshadow base. I've been doing this for years um, especially this little tip uh, but if you have eyeshadow base, go right ahead and use it. But that is all I had on hand, and I didn't feel like really using concealer because I feel like it'd have been thick, thick. I didn't want it to feel thick. If you get what I'm saying. Okay, so um, I'm using my eyebrow hack here um, with Wet n Wild's Mega Last Mascara and a an angled brush, and so. Um, yeah, if you guys want to see how to use that eyebrow hack, maybe you just ran out of your favorite eyebrow pomade. Maybe you just ran out of your favorite eyebrow gel. And you got yourself a good bottle, fresh bottle of um, mascara in the color you normally use to do your eyebrows. And you have an angled brush, head on over um, to that video, which is also posted on my channel. All right. <laughs> Bit of a shameless plug. Or no. Okay. So, I'll chime in whenever necessary. You know the drill. And you guys are uh, seeing me uh, show up the Browie Wowie that's by LA Colors, I think. Or LA Girl. I always get those two mixed up. So um, I'm using that just to add a little touch of um, brown to my eyebrows because that Wet n Wild Mega Last uh, mascara and that angle brush, that, that's in the color very black, I believe. So I don't want my eyebrows to be in stark contrast to my face. <laughs> so I'm using that for a pop of, no, a touch of um, 
of brown color to to bring to my eyebrows so they won't totally look crazy like they're about to do and fight each other and you know take it outside when I walk outside you know anywho I'm using Santee's S-A-N-T-E-E -E, Santee's eyebrow um oh my goodness I said eyebrow eyeshadow palette um cost 99 cents from City Trends but this has been well over a year ago since I got it. The top that goes to the eyeshadow palette, it broke off of the hinges of it. You, you girls know what I'm talking about, where it won't close anymore. And so you just have to snap it on because it won't naturally open and close without the top fully coming off. Yeah, so I'm just using that blue color from there. Now, um, it's a pretty good eyeshadow, but it's not high quality. So let me define high quality. Um, it has great pigment but if you're looking for something to just where you don't have to use as much as I used here um, upgrade your eye palette if you can or you know put a couple coins aside for you to buy your favorites but this I'm just using what is on hand for you ladies that don't have that immediate coin you feel me okay <laughs> That's exactly what I was talking about with that Nika, N-I-C-K-A, Nika, N-I-C-K-A-K, -K, the um, 40, 40 eyeshadow and blush palette. So the top two or three rows is blush and the remaining rows are eyeshadow. So I'm using the blue from that to um, apply over that leftover eyeshadow um, base faux eyeshadow base because we used a white eyeliner pencil yeah okay <laughs> all right so we're just making sure to intensify this blue because i was kind of when i envisioned it i said this blue is going to be intensified and it has to go with this hair this hairstyle which which we'll get to last <laughs> yeah so with you envisioning things, then there's the vision. Then you have to develop a strategy to execute it. There it is. Envision it, develop the strategy, execute it. This is the execution. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just intensifying that blue. And I also went in with a similar dark blue color um, to the Santee. Um, the one I used from the Santee small eyeshadow palette um, to reinforce that dark blue color. So I'm using Pretty Glam's eyeshadow palette. Oh, that thing just loves to close back and forth. That shows you how, how often I've been using this palette because I absolutely positively love it. And that dark brown I'm using right now, as you can see, I'm near the bottom of the pan of it. So... I yet don't know what I'm going to do when it runs out completely. You know, you get a favorite color in eyeshadow palette and it's like, runs out. It's like, what am I going to do? You know, but what am I, what am I going to do? Do I have another similar eye color? You know, eyeshadow color. Yeah. All right. Moving on. <laughs> So this is where I'm using that gold color you guys just saw. Now at first I was thinking I'm gonna put it in the crease, but not so intensified. And you're gonna see me, you guys are gonna see me bring it up. Like, like, like what I just did with that brush. And then um, you're gonna see me bringing that gold up from my crease and then circle it around to go to lie directly underneath my eyebrow arch. This later in the video, but I wanted to just give you a little scoop. All right, so we're using Wet n Wild's Liquid Cat Suit. It's basically a liquid eyeshadow. So it's in the color When the Stars Align. This is such a beautiful galaxy type of color. So when I say that galaxy type of color, at certain angles, you'll see purple. Like what you guys are seeing now. And then you also see black. 
like a sparkling black, a sparkling purple, a sparkling blue. It's a multi-dimensional eyeshadow color. So just like how I like my hair color, if you haven't seen the last latest video before this one, um, the last installment of Watch Me Fail, Watch Me Repair It, I, you will see there I like multi-dimensional color. So you guys just saw me with the white eyeliner pencil on yeah on this side here I tried to draw a, draw a heart there with the white eyeshadow um, white eyeliner pencil oh my I got to get myself together <laughs> ah, yes so that didn't work out so I went back over with my eyeshadow brush that's the short short end of the story all right so I'm using NYX's can't stop won't stop in mocha underneath my eyes for highlight um, deep and deep espresso. I use that almost every day that I um, put on makeup to uh, put together the rest of my face. So this is just to highlight underneath my eyes and act as a looser form of concealer because concealer can be thick, thick, and I didn't want want it to look thick and cakey. Okay, if I want cake, then I'll just go and get a slice, you know, from the store. Okay. <laughs> I still wanted the highlight but just not as thick so I said okay I have a lighter color foundation that doesn't really work for my face and the color mocha it, it's this is one of the first shades I tried of NYX's can't stop won't stop um and I usually put it all over my face but this was just like okay I have a yellow I have a yellow undertone so it will make me it would make me look washed out by the end of the day, no matter how much primer I used. Setting spray. I'm like, sis, you look washed out. Trying to try another shade, you know? Okay. So Deep Espresso is what I moved on to. Well, actually, I moved on to Chestnut. We're out of that. We got to grab a new bottle soon. But Deep Espresso is, a, um, is another close uh, shade for me. Always good to do that. Kind of forecast which shade is actually yours in the foundation and don't just buy one shade. So that way if one doesn't work out, you can kind of tailor the others to make it work for you. Yeah. And I'm just going back in with that liquid um, eyeshadow by Wet n Wild and the Liquid Cat Suit. Because I noticed on my opposite eye, yeah, this one, I went all the way in just lining my top lash right above it, all the way across, inner to outer corner, but I didn't do it on this one I'm currently on. So that's just me making sure everything is symmetrical. <laughs> that's, yeah. As the match. That is Maybelline's Lasting Fix. Um, up to, I think, 16 hours. Yeah, I spray, I spray. I'm heavy-handed with, with, with setting spray. Because I want it to lock, click, clink, lock, down. I don't want it to go anywhere. I want to look as fresh face as when I walk out the house as when I return back to the house. Okay? And I had somewhere I needed to be after this. So, <laughs> we... <laughs> I, I, before setting spray it's like it's no wonder you had to pile it on pile on your makeup you know I, when I first started wearing makeup quick story time I would um that is Black Radiance's um toasted baked to, um baked blush in toasted almond okay getting the name of the product and the shade mixed up anywho short story time when I first started doing my makeup, I had no idea about setting spray or if it existed. So I would do my makeup and I wasn't um, doing the foundation thing. So I would just use pressed powder or whatever. Do my eyebrows. And by the end of the day, it would be gone. I'm like wondering what happened to my makeup because I put it on. 
where did it go? Where did it run off to? When your makeup does the runs, not the toilet, not the diarrhea, not when you eat too many beans. But when your makeup does the runs, we need something to reinforce that to lock it in place. So the first setting spray, when I found out about setting sprays, period, I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. So you guys are seeing me use pink glosser. Add shine, eliminates frizz for natural and relaxed hair. So you guys are really quick. I'm going to give you a quick note on this. So when I recorded this clip, I had forgot until after I was done recording this that I had the air conditioning on. And you can hear that. Guess what I don't want you guys to hear? That either. So, which is why you guys are going to see me mouthing and talking physically. But I'm doing this as a voiceover. So I'm using the glosser first to kind of like lo loosen up the hair, give it a little shine. And um, I'll chime in as everything progresses. And you guys are just seeing me in this clip um, talking about the pink glosser product and everything before I actually start doing my hair. So I am just filling this in with um, everything as the air conditioning was on and I did not want that going where you could hear that. So I decided to just mute the audio and do what I am doing right now. And um, I noticed a little soap in my eyebrows. So even though I didn't put setting spray on it, I'm just like, okay, sis, this kind of looks uneven. So I wanted to kind of touch that up just a little bit. And you guys are just seeing me kind of comb through it. And it's a little, what what's the word? It has, it has a couple flyaways in it. So you guys just saw me um, pull out the Eco Styler. Yes, I did. <laughs> the Argan Oil Jar, by the way. Because we got to slick this down. Because I was getting tired of flyaways. And as I was combing through the hair, I'm like, goodness, I feel like it's still dropping in my eyes. Like, we, we still need our full sight. Yes, we do. We don't, we don't need to be out here and just have to call, have to call on the Lord because all these eyes, all these flyaways in this head and got in here and it's about to blind us. You know, we can't, we can, no, not when we can help it. No. <laughs> No. Instead, the Lord will give us wisdom, you know. Pull out the eco, you know. All right. <laughs> So we are just combing through after we have applied a couple globs, little globs of um, Eco Styler. You see that shine? Do you see the shine? Yes, and it slicked down them flyaways because we couldn't have had them flyaways. This is 100% human hair, but flyaways are ruthless if you don't have any gel or wax or Murray's Edge Wax. 
palm something to slick them down and the glosser was not enough i'm thinking okay i'll put the glosser on it nope gotta put the eco on it okay <laughs> yes And we're um, tucking that little piece underneath the ear because otherwise if it's out, it kind of bothers me. I don't know about anybody else, but it will bother me. Thing about short units is you just have to figure out if you're going to tuck it under on one side. You have to work it out in shoes. You have to kind of work it out. Some gel and, you know, use the comb or brush or whatever you're using to guide the shafts of the hair. And you have to be a little bit more precise. You see all that shine at the back of the back of that Nuna wig, you see? Yes. Okay. Now that's looking a little bit better. That's a little bit better. We still got out the brush though. We still got the brush out. The wooden handed brush. Yes. And in this clip, I had the air conditioning running too. Yeah. So we're just glossing up my lips. I said, I've completed all my makeup and everything. But we got to gloss these lips up. You feel me? So that is Elf's eyes, lips, and face. Uh, Elf's um, lip gloss there. I don't know what color it is, but it's, it just has this silver white sparkle in the gloss. I didn't want to put on lip liner. I just wanted, because I went so bold with the eyes, the thing with makeup is, um, for my whole makeup look, bold eyes, neutral lips. So I want to keep the neutral lips with the bold eyes. And then the uh, opposite is true as well. Bold lips, neutral eyes. Gotta definitely keep that in mind. And here is the final look. The hair is slayed, it's gelled, it's gloss. The makeup is slayed. We are glowing. And we are ready to go out. I did change my outfit after this. Until next time. <laughs>